Element Detection Experiment number 11, to identify the element present in given organic compound. Step 1 Preparation of Sodium Extract Dry Sodium Metal Using Filter Paper Put small piece of sodium metal in fusion tube. Put compound in fusion tube such that sodium metal gets fully covered. Fill test tube with water and pour it in china dish. Keep fusion tube gently till compound gets fused with sodium metal. Keep fusion tube strongly till lower end becomes red hot. Draw red hot fusion tube in china dish containing water. Keep china dish till solution starts boiling. Filter the contents of china dish. The filtrate is sodium extract or lysane solution. Prepared extract will be used for the detection of element in given compound through a systematic approach. Now we proceed to the practical demonstration for the preparation of sodium extract. Watch the video. Taking small piece of sodium metal. Drying piece of sodium metal. Putting sodium metal in fusion tube. Covering sodium metal with compound. Pouring one test tube water in china dish. Igniting the flame. Heating fusion tube gently till compound fused with sodium metal. Heating fusion tube gently till compound fused with sodium metal.
heating fusion tube strongly till lower end becomes red hot. Heating fusion tube strongly till lower end becomes red hot. Heating fusion tube strongly till lower end becomes red hot. Dropping red hot fusion tube in china dish containing water. Heating contents of china dish till boiling. Folding filter paper 3 by 4 folds. Filtering the contents of china dish. Filtrate is sodium extract. Step 2 Detection of element from sodium extract. Systematic approach. Test for nitrogen. Take sodium extract. Add ferrous sulfate. Add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Prussian blue coloration is obtained. The nitrogen is present and confirmed. If no Prussian blue coloration is obtained, then proceeds to test for sulfur. Test for sulfur. Take sodium extract. Add few drops of acetic acid. Add few drops of lead acetate. If black precipitates are obtained, then sulfur is present. Confirmatory test for sulfur. Take sodium extract. Add few drops of sodium nitroperside. If violet coloration is obtained, then sulfur is confirmed. If no black precipitates are obtained, then proceeds to test for halogen. Test for chlorine. Take sodium extract. Add few drops of nitric acid. Add few drops of silver nitrate. If white precipitates are obtained, then chlorine is present.
confirmatory test for chlorine. Add few drops of ammonium hydroxide to white precipitate. If white precipitates are soluble, then chlorine is confirmed. Test for bromine. Take sodium extract. Add few drops of nitric acid. Add few drops of silver nitrate. If dirty white precipitates are obtained, then bromine is present. Confirmatory test for bromine. Take sodium extract. Add few drops of carbon tetrachloride. Two layers will formed in solution. Add few drops of chlorine water, which is the mixture of potassium permanganate and concentrated hydrochloric acid. Shake test tube strongly. If carbon tetrachloride layers turn brown, then bromine is confirmed. Test for iodine. Take sodium extract. Add few drops of nitric acid. Add few drops of silver nitrate. If yellow precipitates are obtained, then iodine is present. Confirmatory test for iodine. Take sodium extract. Add few drops of carbon tetrachloride. Two layers will formed in solution. Add few drops of chlorine water, which is the mixture of potassium permanganate and concentrated hydrochloric acid, shake test too strongly. If carbon tetrachloride layers turn violet, then iodine is confirmed. Now we proceed to the practical demonstration for the detection of element using sodium extract through systematic approach. Watch the video. Reagents for chemical analysis. Test for nitrogen. Taking sodium extract. Adding ferrous sulfate and concentrated sulfuric acid. As no Prussian blue coloration is obtained. Therefore, nitrogen is absent. Test for sulfur. Taking sodium extract. Adding acetic acid and lead acetate. As no black precipitates are obtained. Therefore, sulfur is also absent.
test for halogens. Taking sodium extract. Adding. Nitric acid and silver nitrate. Dirty white precipitates are obtained. Adding few drops of ammonium hydroxide. Precipitates are partially soluble. Therefore. Bromine is present. Confirmatory test for bromine. Layer test. Taking sodium extract adding carbon tetrachloride. Two layers are formed in solution. Add potassium permanganate. Then concentrated hydrochloric acid. Shake test tube strongly. As carbon tetrachloride layers turns brown. Therefore. Bromine is present and confirmed. 